Hello and welcome to an Excel bot tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a multi-category chart in Excel. Multi-category chart or multi-level category chart is a chart type that has both main category and subcategory labels. This type of chart is useful when you have figures for items that belong to different categories. To create a multi-category chart in Excel, take the following steps. First, arrange the data in the following way. Enter main category names in the first column, subcategory names in the second column, and the figure for each subcategory in the third column in the format shown here. For the purpose of this tutorial, suppose you have sales figures for different products of an online store for a month. The store's products fall under three main categories, clothing, shoes, and accessories. Next, select the data, and on the Insert tab of the ribbon, in the Charts group, click on the Insert Bar Chart button and in the Open menu, click on the first option, which is Class that Bar, among the 2D bar charts. This inserts a multi-category chart into the worksheet. If some subcategory labels are missing, increase the height of the chart until it shows all subcategory labels. Decrease the gaps between the bars. To do that, double-click on the bars to open the Format Data Series task pane. Here, change the gap width to 50% by either typing 50 in the gap width box and pressing Enter on the keyboard or moving the slider to the left. I'll write 50 and press Enter. Add data labels to the chart by checking the Data Labels option in the Chart Elements menu. Next, remove the horizontal axis, the chart title, and the grid lines by unchecking these options in the Chart Elements menu. Finally, to make the chart more readable, add some blank space between the categories in the chart, give different colors to the bars of each category, and change the outline colors of the chart area, the vertical axis and the bars, and the text color of the chart to black. To add blank space between the categories in the chart, insert two blank rows between the data for each category. I'll press F4 to repeat the action. In the first cell of the first row of each inserted pair of blank rows, type a space character by pressing the space bar on the keyboard. As you see, now there is some bordered blank space between the categories in the chart. Now let's give different colors to the bars of each category. To do that, click on the bars to select them, and then click on the first bar of the second category, which is the shoes category in our example. On the Format tab under Chart Tools, choose the color for that bar in the Shape Fill drop-down menu. Let me choose Light Green for the shoes category. Continue to select each next bar by pressing the right key on the keyboard and then press F4 to repeat the fill action. Alternatively, click on each next bar and change its fill color manually. Repeat the process for all remaining categories until the bars of each category have different colors. We have only one remaining category, the accessories category. I'll select the first bar of the accessories category, and for this category I will choose red accent to lighter 40%. And again, I'll press the right key to select the next bar and then F4 to repeat the fill action. OK. To change the outline colors of the chart area, the vertical axis and the bars to black, with the chart area selected, on the Format tab under Chart Tools, choose black in the Shape Outline drop-down menu. Next, click on the vertical axis to select it, and again on the Format tab under Chart Tools, choose black in the Shape Outline drop-down menu. Then click on the bars to select them, and again choose black in the Shape Outline drop-down menu. To change the text color of the chart to black, with the chart selected, 
On the Format tab on the Chat Tools, choose Black in the Text Field drop-down menu. So, our multi-category chart is ready. It's a multi-category bar chart. If you want, you can create a multi-category column chart the same way. Simply in the second step, after selecting the data, on the Insert tab of the ribbon, in the Charts group, click on the Insert Column Chart button instead of the Insert Bar Chart button, and in the Open menu, click on the first option, which is Class That Column, among the 2D column charts. And here is our multi-category column chart. You can format it the way you formatted the multi-category bar chart. Now let me delete this. OK. You can convert the already created multi-category bar chart into a multi-category column chart as well. To do that, with the chart selected, click on the Design tab on the Chart Tools, and then click on the Change Chart Type button. In the Change Chart Type dialog box, in the left pane, click Column, and then click OK. As you see, you can easily convert a multi-category bar chart into a multi-category column chart and vice versa. Now I'll press Ctrl Z on the keyboard to go back to our multi-category bar chart. And the last point I would like to cover is that you can convert a multi-category chart into an ordinary chart without main category labels as well. To do that, double-click on the vertical axis to open the Format Axis task pane. In the Format Axis task pane, scroll down and click on the Labels option to expand it. In the Labels section, uncheck the Multi-Level Category Labels option. As you see, the main category labels disappeared. To convert it back into a multi-category chart, simply check the Multi-Level Category Labels option again. So, this is how you create a multi-category chart in Excel. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.